Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can save your car in the garage. So we get into the car, drive it in the garage where we want to, get out and when we now restart the level, the car is still in the garage in the exact position where we parked. Great, so let's go. First of all, we need the blueprint structure. This is also useful when you want to customize your car later. So right click, blueprint, structure, and let's call this car underscore structure. Open this up. The first variable will be the name. The name is some um, text. The next one is the model. In this case, or in my case, it's car underscore blueprint as a class reference. So the car blueprint is my parent class for all other cars. Of course, you can create whatever you want. If you want to know how you create a custom car, of course, link is in the description. We need the last variable. This will be the location. And this is a transform. Let's save this one here. Go back to the level. The next thing is a save game object. So right click, blueprint class and search for save game, this one here. And let's call this game underscore save. Open this up. So this object will be your save game later. Basically everything you want to save needs to be in this game save here. So we will create some actors. This will be just an actor object reference as an array. And the next one in this special case are the cars itself as our car structure reference as an array. Compile and save this. We can close this one as well. Let's open up our parent class. In my case, this Firebird here. So nothing special. It's just a wheeled vehicle porn with the classic functions here. We need one more variable. This will be the car itself as our car structure here. When we compile this, you can set the variables. So let's set this to Firebird, for example. We choose the car blueprint, so the only one that I have currently. If you have other cars, you could choose this as well. And the location still to zero, we will set this later. Compile and save this. We start up with a function for load car. So every car will later get this function here. At the begin play, we will load the car and check if it's saved. For that, we check does save game exist. Let's call this game save one, for example. Be sure that you keep this name when you choose something. Then we need a branch to ask. On true, we say load game from slot copy and paste the slot name here, like this. Then we cast to our save game, so our game save object as we call it. From the game save we get the cars, as where well we get the actors. From the actors we say find item, we get a reference to self and connect it with the actors. From the integer we say is greater and equal to zero. We need a branch to ask like that. From the cars, we say get a copy, connect defined with the index here, and say right click split structure pin. So we have the name, the model, and the location. And on true, we want to set the actor transform and just connect the location with the new transform. Be sure that you check the teleport to true. Then we go back to our event graph here. We need to begin play and just call our load car function here. Compile and save this. The last thing that we need is the garage itself. So right click, blueprint class, actor. Let's call this garage. Open this up. This gets just one component and box collision as a root component here. Then we need one variable that called auto save as a boolean. This will trigger every 
few seconds, then we go to the event graph, can delete everything inside here. We go to the details of the box collision, scroll down, and we need the begin overlap and end overlap. So like that. On begin overlap, we want to ask the same question. So does save game exist? We copy and paste the slot name again right here. We need a branch to ask. On true, we want to load the game from slot. Again, the same slot name. We want to cast to our game save object that we created. Then as game save, we say promote to variable. Of course, you can keep it like this or name it as you want. Down here on false, we want to create a save game object, select our game save that we created, very important. We want to set our game save variable again, like that. And at the end, we just want to set the autosave to true. On end overlap, we just set the autosave to false. So that means when we enter the garage, it will automatically save the cars that entered the garage. When we leave the garage, it will not save anymore. And of course, it will do this again when we enter. We need one last function, so add custom event, and this will call save cars. We start up with the autosave, get it, need a branch to ask. We take out our box collision here, get the overlapping actors. We check for our parent class, in my case, the car blueprint. Then we need an for each loop on true. We take out our game save here. We get the actors again, as well as the cars from the array element we cast to our parent class, in my case, the car blueprint here. From the actors, we say set array element like this, the array index is the index, the car is the item. Then we go from the cars and want to set the array element as well. Back here, connect it. The array index is again the index. Then we say right click split structure pin. We go from the car blueprint and get the car variable here. Again, right click split structure pin. Now we connect the name, the model, but not the location. Be sure that you hit the size to fit as well, as well for the actors, as well for the cores. For the location, we go from the car blueprint here and get the transform and connect it with the item location. On complete, we go down here and say save game to slot. Copy and paste again our slot name here, like that. From the game save, we connect it to the save game object here. Then we need a branch to ask. We need a little delay on true of, for example, three seconds. And then we just call the save car function again on complete. Of course, we go up here, run last time. At the end of the set auto save, we call the function for save cars. Let's go back to our level here and place the garage inside the garage. We just need to fit the box collision inside here like that. Great, let's see if this works. We hit play, go to our car, sit in, drive into our garage here. The moment we enter, we will save the car. Let's choose the wheeled angle here. Then we restart the level, hit play again. And you can see our car is still in the garage, in the exact position that we parked. Great. 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.